टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ बायोलॉजी क्लास इलेवेंथ चैप्टर फोर एनिमल किंगडम नरेटेड बाय प्रियदर्शनी हाड़ा वेन यू लुक अराउंड यू विल ऑब्जर्व डिफरेंट एनिमल्स विद डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड फॉर्म्स एज ओवर अ मिलियन स्पीशीज ऑफ एनिमल्स हैव बीन डिस्क्राइब्ड टिल नाउ द नीड फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन बिकम्स ऑल द मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट The classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species. Topic 4.1 Basis of Classification In spite of differences in structure and form of different animals there are fundamental features common to various individuals in relation to the arrangement of cells body symmetry nature of coelom pattern of digestive circulatory or reproductive systems these features are used as the basis of animal classification and some of them are discussed here topic 4.1.1 levels of organization though all members of animalia are multicellular all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells For example in sponges the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates that is they exhibit cellular level of organization some division of labor occur among the cells in coelenterates the arrangement of cells is more complex here the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues hence is called tissue level of organization a still higher level of organization that is organ level is exhibited by members of platyhelminthes and other higher phyla where tissues are grouped together to form organs each is specialized for a particular function in animals like annelids arthropods mollusks echinoderms and chordates organs have associated to form functional systems each system concerned with a specific physiological function this pattern is called organ system level of organization organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities for example the digestive system in platyhelminthes has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serves as both mouth and anus and is hence called incomplete a complete digestive system has two openings mouth and anus similarly the circulatory system may be of two types first open type in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it and second closed type in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters arteries veins and capillaries topic 4.1.2 symmetry animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry sponges are mostly asymmetrical that is any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves when any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves it is called radial symmetry coelenterates ctenophores and echinoderms have this kind of body plan as shown in figure 4.1a animals like annelids arthropods etc where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane exhibit bilateral symmetry figure 4.1b topic 4.1.3 diploblastic and triploblastic organization animals in which the cells are arranged into two embryonic layers an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm are called diploblastic animals example coelenterates an undifferentiated layer mesoglea is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm figure 4.2a those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer mesoderm in between the ectoderm and endoderm are called triploblastic animals 
from platyhelminthes to chordates as shown in figure 4.2b topic 4.1.4 coelom presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important in classification the body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called coelom animals possessing coelom are called coelomates example annulids mollusk arthropods echinoderms hemichordates and chordates figure 4.3a in some animals the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm instead the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm such a body cavity is called pseudocoelom and the animals possessing them are called pseudocoelomates example eschelminthes figure 4.3b the animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acoelomates example platyhelminthes figure 4.3 c topic 4.1.5 segmentation in some animals the body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs for example in earthworm the body shows this pattern called metameric segmentation and the phenomena is known as metamerism topic 4.1.6 notochord notochord is a mesodermally derived rod like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals animals with notochord are called chordates and those animals which do not form this structure are called non chordates example porifera to echinoderms topic 4.2 classification of animals the broad classification of animalia based on common fundamental features as mentioned in the preceding sections is given in figure 4.4 the important characteristic features of the different phyla are described topic 4.2.1 phylum porifera members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges they are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals as shown in figure 4.5 these are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization sponges have a water transport or canal system water enters through minute pores called ostia in the body wall into a central cavity called spongocele from where it goes out through the osculum This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, respiratory exchange and removal of waste. Coenocytes or collar cells line the spongocele and the canals. Digestion is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Sexes are not separate that is hermaphrodite. that is eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes fertilization is internal and development is indirect having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult examples cycon or cypha spongilla freshwater sponge and u spongia topic 4.2.2 phylum coelentrata or nidaria they are aquatic mostly marine sessile or free swimming radially symmetrical animals figure 4.6 the name nidaria is derived from the nidoblast or nidocytes which contain the stinging capsules or nematocyst present on the tentacles and the body nidoblast are used for anchorage defense and for the capture of prey figure 4.7 
nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic they have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening mouth on hypostome digestion is extracellular and intracellular some of the nidarians example corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate nidarians exhibit two basic body forms called polyp and medusa figure 4.6 the former is a sessile and cylindrical form like hydra edemsia etc whereas the later is umbrella shaped and free swimming like aurelia or jellyfish those nidarians which exist in both forms exhibit alternation of generation that is metagenesis that is polyps produce medusae asexually and medusae form the polyps sexually example obelia examples of cylindrates physalia also called portuguese man of war edemsia or sea anemone pinnatula or sea pen gorgonia or sea fan and mandrina brain coral topic 4.2.3 phylum tenophora tenophores commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies are exclusively marine radially symmetrical diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization the body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates which help in locomotion figure 4.8 digestion is both extracellular and intracellular bioluminescence the property of a living organism to emit light is well marked in tenophores sexes are not separate reproduction takes place only by sexual means fertilization is external with indirect development example pleurobrachia and tenoplana topic 4.2.4 phylum platyhelminthes they have dorso ventrally flattened body hence are called flatworms figure 4.9 these are mostly endoparasites found in animals including human beings flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and acelomate animals with organ level of organization hooks and suckers are present in the parasitic forms some of them absorb nutrients from the host directly through their body surface specialized cells called flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion sexes are not separate fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages some members like planaria possess high regeneration capacity example tenia that is tapeworm and fasciola that is liver fluke topic 4.2.5 phylum eschelminthes the body of eschelminthes is circular in cross section hence the name round worms figure 4.10 they may be free living aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals round worms have organ system level of body organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and pseudocoelomate animals elementary canal is complete with a well developed muscular pharynx an excretory tube removes body waste from the body cavity through the excretory pore sexes are separate dioecious that is males and females are distinct often females are longer than males fertilization is internal and development may be direct the young ones resemble the adult or indirect examples ascaris that is round worm vicheraria filarial worm and encyclostoma hookworm topic 4.2.6 
phylum annelida they may be aquatic marine and freshwater or terrestrial free living and sometimes parasitic they exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry they are triploblastic metamerically segmented and coelomate animals their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metameres and hence the phylum name annelida which means in latin annulus that is little rings figure 4.11 they possess longitudinal and circular muscles which help in locomotion aquatic annelids like nereids possess lateral appendages parapodia which help in swimming a closed circulatory system is present nephridia help in osmoregulation and excretion neural system consists of paired ganglia connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord nereids an aquatic form is dioecious but earthworms and leeches are monoecious reproduction is sexual examples nereids ferritima that is earthworm and hirudinaria blood sucking leech topic 4.2.7 phylum arthropoda this is the largest phylum of animalia which includes insects over 2/3 of all named species on earth are arthropods figure 4.12 they have organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic segmented and coelomate animals the body of arthropods is covered by chitinous exoskeleton the body consists of head thorax and abdomen they have jointed appendages arthros means joint and poda means appendages respiratory organs are gills book gills book lungs or tracheal system circulatory system is of open type sensory organs like antennae eyes compound and simple statocyst or balancing organs are present Ex- excretion takes place through malpighian tubules they are mostly dioecious fertilization is usually internal they are mostly oviparous development may be direct or indirect examples economically important insects apis honeybee bombyx silkworm lacifer lac insect vectors anopheles culex and aedes mosquitoes gregarious pest locust living fossil limulus that is king crab topic 4.2.8 phylum mollusca this is the second largest animal phylum figure 4.13 mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic marine or freshwater having an organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animals body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented with a distinct head muscular foot and visceral hump a soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump the space between the hump and the mantle is called the mental cavity in which feather like gills are present the anterior head region has sensory tentacles the mouth contains a file like rasping organ for feeding called radula they are usually dioecious and oviparous with indirect development examples pila apple snail pink tada pearl oyster sepia cuttlefish loligo squid octopus devil fish aplysia sea hare dentalium tusk shell and ketopleura chitin topic 4.2.9 phylum echinodermata these animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and hence the name echinodermata spiny bodied figure 
all are marine with organ system level of organization the adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical they are triploblastic and coelomate animals digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower or ventral side and anus on the upper or dorsal side the most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion capture and transport of food and respiration an excretory system is absent sexes are separate reproduction is sexual fertilization is usually external development is indirect with free swimming larva example asterias starfish echinus sea urchin antidon sea lily cucumeria sea cucumber and ophiura brittle star topic 4.2.10 phylum hemichordata hemichordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under phylum chordata but now it is placed as a separate phylum under non chordata Hemichordates have a rudimentary structure in the collar region called stomochord a structure similar to notochord this phylum consists of a small group of worm like marine animals with organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animals the body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis a collar and a long trunk figure 4.15 circulatory system is of open type respiration takes place through gills excretory organ is proboscis gland sexes are separate fertilization is external development is indirect example balenoglossus and secoglossus topic 4.2.11 phylum chordata animals belonging to phylum chordata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of a notochord and a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits figure 4.16 they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate with organ system level of organization they possess a post anal tail and a closed circulatory system table 4.1 presents a comparison of salient features of chordates and non chordates table 4.1 comparison of chordates and non chordates in chordates notochord is present in non chordates notochord is absent in chordates central nervous system is dorsal hollow and single whereas in non chordates central nervous system is ventral solid and double in chordates pharynx perforated by gill slits in non chordates gill slits are absent in chordates heart is ventral in non chordates heart is dorsal if present in chordates a post anal tail is present whereas in non chordates post anal tail is absent phylum chordata is divided into three subphyla urochordata or tunicata cephalochordata and vertebrata subphyla urochordata and cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordates figure 4.17 and are exclusively marine in urochordata notochord is present only in larval tail while in cephalochordata it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life examples urochordata ascidia salpa doliolum examples of cephalochordata branchiostoma amphioxus or lancelet the members of subphylum vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period the notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult thus all vertebrates are chordates but 
All chordates are not vertebrates. Besides the basic chordate characters, vertebrates have ventral muscular heart with two, three, or four chambers, kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation, and paired appendages which may be fins or limbs. The subphylum vertebrata is further divided as follows: vertebrata divisions, agnatha, legs, jaw, gnathostomata, bears, jaw. In agnatha class comes cyclostomata. In gnathostomata superclasses Pisces and tetrapoda. Pisces bear fins, tetrapoda bear limbs. Classes of Pisces: first Chondrichthys, second Osteichthys. Classes of Tetrapoda: first Amphibia, second Reptilia, third Aves, and fourth Mammals. Topic 4.2.11.1. Class Cyclostomata. All living members of the class Cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes. They have an elongated body bearing six to fifteen pairs of gill slits for respiration. Cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws. Figure four point one eight. Their body is devoid of scales and paired fins. Cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous. Circulation is of closed type. Cyclostomes are marine. But migrate for spawning to fresh water. After spawning, within few days they die. Their larvae, after metamorphosis, return to ocean. Examples: Pteromyzon, called lamprey, and Myxine, called hagfish. Topic: Four point two point one one point two. Class: Chondrichthys. They are marine animals with streamlined body and have cartilaginous endoskeleton. Figure four point one nine. Mouth is located ventrally. Notochord is persistent throughout life. Gill slits are separate and without operculum. Gill cover. The skin is tough, containing minute placoid scales. Teeth are modified placoid scales which are backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. These animals are predaceous. Due to the absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. Some of them have electric organs, example torpedo, and some possess poison sting, example trigon. They are cold-blooded, that is. Poikilothermous animals, that is, they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Sexes are separate. In males, pelvic fins bear claspers. They have internal fertilization, and many of them are viviparous. Examples: Scoliodon, dogfish; Pristis, sawfish; Carcharodon, great white shark; Trigon, stingray. Topic four point two point one one point three class Osteichthys. It includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton. Their body is streamlined. Mouth is mostly terminal. Figure four point two zero. They have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side. Skin is covered with cycloid or tenoid scales. Air bladder is present, which regulates buoyancy. Heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. They are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually external. They are mostly oviparous, and development is direct. Examples: marine, exocetus, flying fish, hippocampus, seahorse. For freshwater, labio, that is rohu. Katla, Clarius, that is magur, aquarium fishes, Beta, fighting fish, and Terophyllum, angelfish. Topic four point two point 
11.4 class amphibia as the name indicates greek amphi dual bios life amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats figure 4.21 most of them have two pairs of limbs body is divisible into head and trunk tail may be present in some the amphibian skin is moist without scales the eyes have eyelids a tympanum represents the ear alimentary canal urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior respiration is by gills lungs and through skin the heart is three chambered two auricles and one ventricle these are cold blooded animals sexes are separate fertilization is external they are oviparous and development is indirect examples bufo toad rana frog hyla tree frog salamandra salamander ichthyophis limbless amphibia topic 4.2.11.5 class reptilia the class name refers to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion they are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin epidermal scales or scutes figure 4.22 they do not have external ear openings tympanum represents ear limbs when present are two pairs heart is usually three chambered but four chambered in crocodiles reptiles are poikilotherms snakes and lizards shed their scales or as skin cast sexes are separate fertilization is internal they are oviparous and development is direct examples chelon or turtle testudo or tortoise chameleon tree lizard callots garden lizard crocodilus crocodile alligator hemidactylus or wall lizard poisonous snake naja cobra bangerus kraith viper topic 4.2.11.6 class aves the characteristic feature of aves or birds are the presence of feathers and most of them can fly except flightless birds example ostrich they possess beak figure 4.23 the four limbs are modified into wings the hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking swimming or clasping the tree branches skin is dry without glands and except the oil gland at the base of the tail endoskeleton is fully ossified or bony and the long bones are hollow with air cavities called pneumatic the digestive tract of birds has additional chambers the crop and gizzard heart is completely four chambered they are warm blooded animals that is homeotherms that is they are able to maintain a constant body temperature respiration is by lungs air sacs connected to lungs supplement respiration sexes are separate fertilization is internal they are oviparous and development is direct examples corvus crow columba pigeon pistacula parrot struthio ostrich pavo peacock aptenodites penguin neophron vulture topic 4.2.11.7 class mammalia they are found in a variety of habitats polar ice caps deserts mountains forest grasslands and dark caves some of them have adapted to fly or live in water the most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk producing glands called mammary glands by which the young ones are nourished they have two pair of limbs adapted for walking running climbing burrowing swimming or flying figure 4.24 
The skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair. External ears or pinnae are present. Different types of teeth are present in the jaw. Heart is four chambered. They are homeothermous. Respiration is by lungs. Sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. They are viviparous with few exceptions and development is direct. Examples of oviparous animals or Nithorhynchus that is platypus. Examples of viviparous. Macropus that is kangaroo. Pteropus flying fox. Camelus camel. Macaca monkey. Ratus rat. Canis dog. Felis cat. Eliphaz elephant. Equus horse. Delphinus common dolphin, balanoptera, blue whale, panthera tigris, tiger, panthera leo, lion. The salient distinguishing features of all phyla under animal kingdom is comprehensively given in table 4.2. Summary The basic fundamental features such as level of organization, symmetry, cell organization, Silom, segmentation, notochord, etc. have enabled us to broadly classify the animal kingdom. Besides the fundamental features, there are many other distinctive characters which are specific for each phyla or class. Porifera includes multicellular animals which exhibit cellular level of organization and have characteristics flagellated coenocytes. The coelentrates have tentacles and bear nidoblast. They are mostly aquatic, sessile or free-floating. The tenophores are marine animals with comp plates. The platyhelminths have flat body and exhibit bilateral symmetry. The parasitic form show distinct suckers and hooks. Escalmenthes are pseudocelomates and include parasitic as well as non-parasitic roundworms. Annelids are metamerically segmented animals with a true coelome. The arthropods are the most abundant group of animals characterized by the presence of jointed appendages. The mollusks have a soft body surrounded by an external calcareous shell. The body is covered with external skeleton made up of chitin. The echinoderms possess a spiny skin. Their most distinctive feature is the presence of water vascular system. The hemichordates are a small group of worm-like marine animals. They have a cylindrical body with proboscis, collar and trunk. Phylum chordata includes animal which possess a notochord either throughout or during early embryonic life. Other common features observed in the chordates are the dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits. Some of the vertebrates do not possess jaws, that is ergnatha, whereas most of them possess jaws, gnathostomata. Agnatha is represented by class Cyclostomata. They are the most primitive chordates and are ectoparasites on fishes. Gnathostomata has two superclasses, Pisces and Tetrapoda. Class Chondrichthys and Ostichthys bear fins for locomotion and are grouped under Pisces. The Chondrichthys are the fishes with cartilaginous endoskeleton and are marine. Classes Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves and Mammalia have two pairs of limbs and are thus grouped under Tetrapoda. The amphibians have adapted to live both on land and water. Reptiles are characterized by the presence of dry and cornified skin. Limbs are absent in snakes. Fishes, amphibians and reptiles are po poikilothermous, cold-blooded. Aves are warm-blooded animals with feathers on their bodies and forelimbs modified into wings for flying. Handlimbs are adapted for walking, swimming, perching or clasping. The unique feature of mammals are the presence of mammary glands and hairs on the skin.
दे कॉमनली एग्जिबिट विवी पैरिटी 